Well, who would have thought that too many job openings were a bad thing? Well, it is if you're trying to get a mortgage. They're expecting 8.9 million job openings in the latest report, and we got 9.6. What that means to bond traders is, uh-oh, the economy's not slowing down like we thought it would, or at least like Jerome Powell would want it to. Therefore, rates are going up. Here we are, 7.72 today on a Tuesday. And we've got more jobs data coming out later in the week, and we will recap that Friday at 3 o'clock with Pat, see what happens to rates. But uh, at this point, it looks like it's going to be a bad week to try and lock in your mortgage. And uh, I'm no expert in that, but I'm reading the tea leaves here and seeing, ooh, this could get ugly. Look at the 10-year treasury here. It kind of went up and started to come down a little bit, and then it's going back up in the afternoon. So we're not getting a lot of relief there. When we look at how it affects our numbers here, this stuff that we look at all lags by a good 30 to 45 days, like the monthly average sales price, which has been pretty flat the past three months. All the numbers coming in for quarter three, as far as real estate pricing in our market, look surprisingly good when it comes to price increases. But it looks expectedly bad when it comes to affordability. And the October affordability, when it comes out, is expected to set a record for how bad affordability really is. And months of supply is going up as well. And that's what we're seeing here in the local market. So really the only thing that I can look at that kind of gives me an indication of what the impact is on what's going on with rates in the past week. You know, we all felt like and saw that when we got into the sevens, things would really slow down. And they certainly did. And now we're knocking on 8% door. Many lenders uh, and, and banks are up at 8%. So we're there. Uh, can we get any higher? And what I'm seeing in my tracking from the multiple listing service is that new listings kind of have been flat, this blue line. They edged up a little bit the past few days. Um, I think maybe people are thinking, well, maybe October is a good time to sell. I've been kind of shouting that from the rooftop here. Your window's closing, and uh, October's uh, usually a pretty decent time to sell in our market here and our sales are still flatlining number of contracts are not going up not going down they're just staying right there at that 2400 level but what is changing is the ratio between the two you might recall where i said that as we were sitting in the 70 for eight percent of what i call the absorption rate number of new contracts versus new listings that that doesn't mean the prices are coming down but if we get down to 65 percent or below just based on the fact that that's what we saw last time when rates spiked up last year and everybody ran for the hills, prices started coming down a pretty good clip. But then since then, we've recovered all that. Um, we're at 69%, 67%, I believe it is today. Let me double check while I have it in front of me here. I've got a million numbers on this sheet, so let me scroll down. And I believe it is sitting at 67%. So we're getting there. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it's like, you know, one week doesn't make a trend. But uh, interest rates, um, I don't see anything on the horizon that says Yahoo rates are going to come pulling back down. And uh, I also don't feel that that's going to be healthy for the market if we do see that. We don't need to reignite anything because even as rates have gone up, those of you that are buying out there, you haven't seen any relief in prices despite the doom and gloom headlines on other YouTube channels. When I look at the actual numbers for our Arizona market sorry folks we have not gone down but my neighbor said in my neighborhood I see more house I'm looking at the numbers I'm showing you our median price the past three quarters have gone up q1 q2 q3 they've gone up not down now it's lagging so we could see a dip coming up for q4 it's highly possible when you hit that affordability wall it uh, people back off and then it, houses are going to get harder to sell. They're going to get harder to sell anyway in November, December, just because of seasonality. That's why I've been saying, if you're thinking at all, October is probably your sweet spot. We still have buyers out there. The market is still um, not active. I, it's hard to call it healthy, but it's healthy in relationship from the few number of listings that we have. So it, uh, um, you know, homes are homes are selling. The average price, I think, in Phoenix right now is four hundred and forty-three thousand dollars, and uh, anything under four hundred, 
still going pretty quick. But as we approach 8%, that music's going to change. So we got to watch this and see what happens. I think, uh, you know, just, just count on this being more of the same. I mean, real estate's not a week-by-week -week thing where we all try to figure out is where are we going. Okay, we went up a half a percent today. Is this it? Are we going to be at 9%? You know, you'll drive yourself crazy um, if you're trying to, you know, look at real estate that way. If you're looking at it at 5 and 10 years and it fits your budget, pull the trigger, have a fixed payment, sit there and relax, take it easy, don't worry about it. If you're looking for investments, um, I think you'd be kind of loony to jump in right now. And think that you're going to turn, you know, you don't see open door doing it right now. You don't see Redfin buying any houses. Now, my phone is ringing off the hook for investors trying to find deals. They're trying to find junk. If you got junk, call me. I can get you closed out in a week. But the reason that they're calling me is they can't find anything. They're not finding any distressed homes out there. So they're looking for it. So if you see a home in your neighborhood that looks like... Uh, the person that was there is no longer with us then give us a holler we can get it off their hands so i'm only saying that because my phone's blowing up <laughs> so not a good day for rates probably not going to be a good week for rates stay tuned we're going to recap all this with pat on friday do me a favor hit that thumbs up button take care